Leon uh, Smith is uh, going to meet Anthony Fowler. This is uh, going to be the matchup. Well, the matchup of two really, really good fighters. This is the main event, and uh, Leon Smith fought for vacant while boxing organization international super welter title but he was stopped uh, by magomed kurbanov or outworked however prior to that he defeated sam eggington uh, mario alberto lozano roberto garcia and he was uh, the former world boxing council silver uh, super welter title owner and also priorly he defeated leon williams on two occasions to win world boxing organization interim world super welter title also uh, holds uh, notable victories over Predra Gradošević, John Thompson, uh, Jimmy Kilrain, Kelly, and uh, many others on the other side. We got Anthony Fowler riding right a score of 15 1 0, 12 KOs, 5 foot 11, and uh, his opponent is way more experienced, but he's 5 foot 9.5, which means uh, Anthony Fowler should be having slight reach advantage here, though. Also, Anthony Fowler 12 knockouts. He stopped Rico Moore, Jorge Forte, Adam Harper, Teofil Stete, Harry Scarf for vacant uh, World Boxing Association International Super Welter title. And he was International Super Welter title owner. I mean, that match against Jorge Forte showed really, really big dominance when Donald came to Scott Fitzgerald. But prior to that, uh, Anthony Fowler didn't fight bombs, so... Many people will say that Liam Smith is 100% favorite. I mean, I do agree when we take a look at his resume, the names he fought, the names he defeated, but I think underestimating Anthony Fowler could be a massive, massive mistake in this matchup, especially considering the fact that uh, he dominated against Rico Muller, he dominated against Jorge Forte. I really think uh, he has good chances to win the fight. Also, he is 30 years old, his opponent is 33, Beefy is a stronger fighter and he hits harder, but uh, from what I could have seen, Anthony Fowler is faster. 80% uh, knockout rate in his wins. Leon Smith had fewer knockouts, but he fought really, really big names along the way. So I know you might uh, disagree with me on this one. And uh, I know I might probably be heavily criticized for picking uh, that guy to win, but I'm going to go with Anthony Fowler to win this one.